Ever since I was a kid, I have dreamed of traveling from my home state of California to hunt mule deer in Colorado. When I finally reached the point I was able to plan such a trip, I hesitated. What if I choose the wrong area? What if I come home empty-handed? I pushed these doubts aside and researched tirelessly to find a unit that could provide the experience I had anticipated for so many years. When the draw results were posted, I was both excited and anxious about the upcoming hunting season. I spent summer months scouring maps, sorting gear, and dreaming of Colorado muleys. When the day of departure finally arrived, Zach and I loaded my truck and started the journey across the loneliest road in America. On the drive, I struggled to manage my expectations, suppress my doubts, and calm my excitement. Finally, I arrived at the conclusion that no matter what the outcome, I would cherish the experience. I was driving to an area with great promise and there's nothing like hunting a new country. This is the first day of my hunt. Got to a really nice crossing point here and spotted up a couple of nice bucks. One four point. It's a little crabby. I'm guessing maybe like in the 130 range and Looks like two other hunters are going after it, so we're going to kind of sit here, wait it out, maybe they'll kick something else up to us. This is day two of my hunt. Got to a nice glassing spot. Found a nice rock cropping out here yesterday. And just spotted up a nice little two by three. Probably only like 20 inches wide, but it's pretty cool to see that, that buck with does already. So hopefully they're gonna go into rut pretty soon. Maybe we'll start seeing more bucks out in the open. just before sunset. They got to a high point, hiked about two miles in, and right away spotted up about four bucks, a couple does. Not quite what I'm after, so I'm gonna hold out. Probably come back up to this same spot and hunt it hard tomorrow.
After hunting hard for two days and covering a lot of ground, we decided to push further from camp to a remote basin we discovered the night before. Though we had not yet discovered a shooter buck, it was encouraging to see bucks with groups of does. And a cold front moving in, we had high hopes of bigger bucks letting down their guard and stepping into the open. We continued to cover ground on day three and finally reached the basin we wanted to glass for the evening. As the clouds rolled in and the temperature dropped, we watched the hillside come alive. It's the third day of the hunt. It's just about evening here. I just glassed up a really nice buck. We're gonna make a play on it. Got about an hour of daylight, so I gotta get over there quick. But this is a really nice buck. Hope I can get on it quick. I just hit a nice buck. <sighs> Dude, this buck is a nice four point. <sighs> oh man, this is a great feeling. There's <sighs> deer running everywhere right now. <sighs> so I just let this deer sit for a little bit and went and grabbed my pack down the hill where I left it. So we're gonna go down there and see if we're Try to find the blood because he ran down a little ways. So I'm trying to go after it before it gets dark. Go! Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. Go! I see go! I just found the buck. Looks like a great one. I'll go check it out right now. Oh man. So I about I spotted this buck about 450 yards away on a high point. We hiked in about two miles to get to that point. Yeah, glass this guy up. So I knew right away I'm gonna go after him. So I hiked another, man, another mile up to a couple of steep ridges. And I snuck up. Uh, once I snuck over the point, I saw there was about 15 other deer with it. So I was really quiet and, and I got a really good shot on it. Ran about 30 yards and just dropped. It's a freaking awesome buck. Can't, couldn't ask for anything more.
Upon realizing my dream of harvesting a mature mule deer in Colorado, I couldn't help but reflect on the journey that led me to this point. All the pressure I put on myself to succeed dissolved. The worry and the doubt that once troubled me was gone. I couldn't help but feel grateful for the experience, for the hunt, and for the animal that would feed my family for the rest of the year. Experiences like these cannot be had without risk or effort. Experiences like these can only be had in new countries.